Hello everyone, this is Mr. Alp Ronan here again, and today I'm here for a quick breakdown on Mei Hatsume. I haven't had a very long, but I don't have very long to record this, so um, I'll just show you um, how to play her very quickly. So, starting off with her buttons, or just in general, she's what I would call a utility character. She plays quite similarly to Jiro. She has a lot of moves that lead to combos, um, a lot of different variation routes in her combos, and yeah, just a lot of... Um, just like unusual like technique, like gadget moves, like you know, these barrels, she has these like grappling hooks, and nets to grab people, she's an interesting character. So let's get into her buttons. Her red attack, or her regular attack string, is pretty unusual, it's three hitting, but after every hit she's in the air, so no matter where you cancel it, from the first hit, from the second hit, or wherever, she's in the air because of how she like jetpacks herself into the air, which I found kind of interesting, because you can never cancel into her plus ultra 1 from of her regular attack string. So that's just something to note. So yeah, this is her ground attack string. Her air attack string is similar, except it's just two hits, and it, the second hit bounces the opponent. Obviously it can be used and cancelled for combo extensions. Um, yeah, so pretty basic stuff there. Her red attack is kind of unusual. Um, I definitely wouldn't call it good in any way. A lot of the time she like actually places it down in the wrong place if you run up. And it's also just really weird, it has such a small hitbox, like, when I'm like this close to the opponent, if I do it, it's gonna miss, because it, she places it like right where she's standing and then jumps back. So I have to be like, r right on top of the opponent in order to do this, and it's also not very fast. And a lot of the time you can't actually get a combo from this, so if I land it like here, and somehow the opponent gets hit by it, I can't really get a combo, like, run up into a combo. The only place I can ever just get a normal combo is if I'm, like, right in their face. And then I'm able to get a combo. But if I do, and if I am trying to, you know, go for a reset or mix them up, like, from this range, and I don't think I'm gonna be able to do the red attack, usually what I do just for consistency is I go into that move, which we'll talk about later. To get a full combo that way. Okay. Her yellow attacks, this is her ground yellow attack, it does a decent chunk of damage, it puts her in the air, but as I mentioned before, she's never going to be able to cancel that off of her regular buttons. So the only time you're ever going to be able to get it is if you're off of something like this, and then you can cancel into some combos this way, and get some combos that way. But yeah, it does a lot of damage, um, it's ne kind of safe-ish because the opponent finds it hard to difficult, um, would find it kind of difficult to punish it since it puts you so far in the air. But yeah, it's a yellow attack, it's not that great because it has a, quite a small hitbox because she goes like straight up. Like if I'm right here, it's gonna miss the opponent, so you need to be pretty careful when you're using this. Her air yellow attack is pretty generic, it's a bunch of kicks, it's pretty good for getting wall splats, like it's surprisingly good, it doesn't look like they're gonna be flying, but they just keep going straight into the wall, like even as you saw from over here. They just keep flying into the wall. So it's pretty good for wall splat, so if you ever see you're facing the wall, just leave your yellow attack and don't cancel it into other buttons, so you can extend your combo even more. Um, but yeah, it's a very basic yellow attack in the air. It does things, you can cancel it into other buttons. And uh, yeah, it'll be using combos. Her quirk one is... This net move, which... Just uh, launches out this kind of large net that has a really big hip hitbox, um, and it kind of travels a similar distance to um, Jiro's uh, headphone move, or where like she releases that those like blasts. And yeah, it acts pretty similarly to those actually. So they are pretty plus on block if you hit them from over here, because she, but not too much. They're not as good as Jiro's. She can't like stand behind them, but it's still pretty good and has a really large hitbox. And obviously, if it hits them. You're getting a full combo. Oops. Messed that up, but we'll talk about that later. But yeah, it's a really good move. It's not a zoning move, but you, you know, you can throw it out a bunch if you know, you know, around this range. I think you can catch the opponent with these. And yes, you can only use one in a combo. If you try to use two, it'll end in a media blow. But a lot of the time, I actually like to use that media blow, because she sometimes likes to get some distance and some longer knockdown, so she can throw out these barrels of all different kinds. Um, yeah, anyways, that's that move, obviously, great for combos, and, you know, it's good for a little bit of neutral, you know, run around, throw it in the air, catch your opponent off guard, hit them, and get a full combo for it. Um, but obviously it's very punishable if they block it. Um, her next move, is her tilt quirk one, is this move where she, like, sends out these, like, grappling hooks that grab the opponent. Um, it's nearly full screen, it's not 
a completely full screen, as you can see it whiffs here, but like a little bit closer, it has very long range. And this move is crazy ridiculous, I don't know what they were thinking when they made this. So when you hit them with it, if you press nothing, it just like hits them a second time and brings them in slightly. If you press 1 after doing it, or X, or square on a um, PlayStation, I think, um, she, will, uh, she will suck herself in. Which is useful if you're uh, really far away. She can suck herself in and then you go in for a full combo. And yeah, do something. Um, as I said, if you leave it, she'll just pull them in slightly. And you can actually combo off of that as well, and that's what I like to do the most, because then you can just go for normal combos. And it adds a tiny bit more damage. And she can also press 4, or B, on Xbox controllers. And uh, she just does this weird spin in. I believe it is um, safe on block this move, so if, you ca if the opponent does this and somehow something happens, you do that. Launches them in the air. And that's also a really good way to end combos a lot of time, because her only other combo ender is this. And because she gets dizzy at the end, um, it doesn't leave you with very good Oki. Um, so if you end your combo in this, your opponent's launched in the air, sometimes they'll be media blown, but it, because they're like flying uh, in the air for so long, it gives you time to throw out some barrels, and you know, get some of this stuff started, you know, if you hit them with the barrel, throw another one of these out, and yeah. And obviously it's a really good combo move as well, just like her quirk one. You'll be using it in a lot of your combos, so even after something like this, or after you've landed one of these, I like to run up and do this yellow attack, and go into it, and then go into a full combo from there, and pretty simple stuff. Um, her quirk one, what is, um, the tilt quirk one, what is really surprising about it is, um, if I get Bakugo to block here, action after guarding, and make him do a target combo, so he will attack as soon as he can after any of my things hit, and punish me for whatever I do. So see, if I do this move, and I'm holding block, I get punished for it, because it's very punishable. But, her tilt quirk two, even from right in their face, is completely safe. Like, her tilt quirk one, you know, it's safe from a distance, obviously, Sometimes even plus if it's from far enough. She can hit before the opponent can. But her tail quirk one is completely safe. Completely safe. Isn't that ridiculous? And obviously it's plus on block if it's from this distance. So like if you throw it from like here, she's plus and she can just attack way before the opponent can. But even if she just does it like right in their face. Oh wait, that's not gonna work. Um, but like if you do it like right here, they can't punish you from right in their face. There's nothing they can do to punish this. It's ridiculous. Maybe if they do a plus ultra 2 or something, but with traditional means, there's no way of punishing this, which I find ridiculous, because that means you can just throw it out as much as you want. And, like, if they block it, well, you, you know, you just are blocking. But if it hits, you're getting a full combo, so <laughs> the risk-reward for this move is pretty pretty uh, lean towards reward, <laughs> because it hits them, I get a full combo, I get to do a full combo for free, and she has pretty good meterless damage, and if they block it, well I'm totally safe, and it doesn't matter, so you can just throw this out whenever you want, and there's no risk for it, so yeah, keep that in mind. Okay, her quirk 2, is this, I don't know, <sighs> Does anyone remember what, like, what things are that she's holding? Like, it just looks like she's holding a bunch of keys that come out of her shoulder. <laughs> and then she just spins with them. But yeah, this is basically, it's a combo ender, it does a lot of hits, you can hold the button down, it does a lot of hits, and does decent damage. So if you want damage at the end of your combos, you'll end with this. But keep in mind, if you do do the whole spin, she does this, like, dizziness, and if you do, are right beside the opponent, they can actually punish you for hitting them with it. But um, a lot of the time they're going to be launched so far away there's nothing they can do about it. But um, a lot of the time, if you want to be a bit more cautious, you know, just end it a bit earlier. She doesn't do the full daze thing, and but you still get pretty decent damage, just not the whole damage. But yeah, it's a pretty good move. You just need to be careful when using it that um, you don't hold it down too long if the opponent's going to wake up right beside you and they'll punish you for it. But yeah, pretty good damage. What is also really interesting about this move, actually, is it can be used to cancel into her plus ultras, because it brings her back down to the ground. And that allows her to combo into her plus ultra too. Okay, 
And for her tilt quirk too, she has these unusual barrel moves where she throws a barrel. Um, she can direction them, so she can throw it right, left, or just straight forwards. And basically these just bounce around until they hit the opponent. They have a bit of tracking, so if I throw it to the left, it'll curve and try to make its way to the opponent. But um, yeah, these are pretty good moves just to throw out. And obviously they're extremely plus on block because I can throw out a bunch of them. You know, they're just bouncing around the screen. And I can move around while these are out. So, the, you know, the, while the opponent's getting scared of these and then they decide to block, I can run in, do a red attack, or run in and do some pressure or something. Not dodge. But yeah, say, you know, they're blocking because they want to block all these. You know, because there's all these barrels. I run in, do a red attack, and there's not much they can do about it if they're scared about these barrels. So, they're a pretty good move, and that's why a lot of the time I don't like to end my combos with, um, hook quirk 2 held, because she gets so dizzy, and you don't get, really get time to throw these out. But if, if you cancel with something else, or end in something that media blows, um, and then you can throw out these afterwards, and I, I really like to throw out these as much as possible, because they're very plus on block, even from, like, um, this distance. If they block it there, I can attack way before he can. I'll just try and demonstrate that quickly. Action after guarding, and target combo. So if he blocks this here, I can attack way before he can do anything. So if you make them block them at this kind of distance, you're very plus on block. And if you make them block from all the way, like, over here, obviously you're going to be ridic- Oh, actually, that one's up in reach. Um, you're going to be ridiculously plus on block if they reach it over there. You can even attack before it hits. But, yeah. Very good moves. You can apply pressure even from a full screen because of her, like, comboing projectiles. You can try and get a combo with this thing, throw these out. Or even if they just go to block it. So if you try to make the opponent scared of these because you know, oh, that you're going to, like, do pressure and stuff, you know, gotta block it, don't want to get hit by these. Just throw another one. If they're blocking them, just keep throwing these out, and then the opponent is gonna have to do something eventually, or else they're just gonna be blocking all of these barrels, and they're gonna get their guard broken. So, yeah. They're really interesting, and I like to throw them out as much as possible whenever I get the opportunity. Obviously, I'm not gonna do it, like, mid-combo or something random like that. But once I've ended on a combo, or even, like, when I'm in the neutral here, I'll throw it out just like this, because I'm plus on block there, and then I can, if they try and press the button, I get to beat them, and maybe I'll break their guard as well. So yeah, very good stuff with these barrels. And, um, actually you can, um, I said you can directional input them to make them go left and right. But see, if I throw out a normal barrel, if I go quite far away, they'll kind of blow up like halfway in between me and Bakugo. But if you hold down the button, she throws them like quite high, like with a high arc, and they bounce for a lot longer. And they basically just keep bouncing until they find the opponent. So especially if you're, like, near the wall, she's, these will just keep bouncing until they reach the opponent. <laughs> bouncing around. Sometimes they have weird bouncing arcs, it feels like you're playing Donkey Kong, but... They're really interesting moves, and because they're so unpredictable, it doesn't matter if they don't hit them, because the, the opponent doesn't know that that's not gonna hit, they just need it, they just don't want to get hit by it, so they, they get really scared of it. And sometimes if you time it right, just like I did there, you can actually get a full combo from these. And, uh, yeah, get something like that, but <laughs> hopefully a bit better. Okay, um, her plus ultra one is basically just a massive version of those barrels. She throws a huge barrel and it explodes. That's about it. <laughs> it can be pretty good, you know, do from a distance. It's pretty safe, pretty plus and block, and is a full screen plus ultra and does pretty decent damage. You're rarely going to be comboing into it, though, because she doesn't have many ways to combo into it. Okay, 